Because the kids that drive like F1000 huge ass trucks, and they're like, hey, check out my new suspension kit. My daddy bought it with his oil money. What's up, guys? This is Robin playing some more uh, League of Legends. Oh, wow. This is the first time I'm playing against Swain, Zara, or and Zara. That, that's going to be fun. Um, I actually never played against either one of them before. Anyways, so uh, today I am playing uh, Master Yi Top for what champ to play. We have an Ezreal, a Morgana. Uh, I'm guessing Ezreal's jungling. Um, he'll be one that I'll actually be playing this week. Uh, but Master Yi is one of the free ones, and I've been wanting to play him for such a long time that I decided, heck, I'm finally going to do it. We also got a Renekton uh, that we're playing with, and it's really cool because there's actually the new Renekton skin. Um, I don't remember what it's called right this second, but the new Renekton skin just came out. Um, and I don't... Oh, and the last one is Fiddlesticks. So that's cool. Um... Then we got Ash, Warwick, Ziggs, Swain, and Zareth. So that should, again, be... Uh, I don't know where any of theirs are going, because it doesn't look like they have a jungler, unless that Warwick chooses to go jungle. Um, and Zareth normally mids from everywhere that I've read. He just got a rework, so I'm, I'm thinking a lot of people are going to be trying him out to see how his rework is doing. Um... He got a rework, and so did... I don't remember who the other one that got the rework is. Anyways, but, uh... Ziggs will most likely be top. Um... And I'm going top. And then... I'm just gonna take a guess and say... Uh, Swain might be mid. I'm not exactly sure. Not mid. He's probably... He might... I think he might be bottom with Ash, but again, I'm not sure. Um, I'm going top. I believe Renekton... No, no, no. Ziggs is going top with me. We have somebody that wasn't even able to connect. Alright, so we're going to my Yi build. Alright, so... Let's go ahead and start heading top. Um, this is actually a build I got off of line, and... Um, it was kind of rated as one of the top builds, so I just thought I'd go ahead and go for this one. Alright, for his first ability, I do like this, but I'd really rather go ahead and grab his... I'm trying to decide. 70 mana. So this is going to give me good lane clear, and this is going to give me uh, uh, bonus attack damage. But I'm thinking that I'm going to go ahead and go with that, just to get the lane clear, and then I'm going to go... Uh, e and W. Alright, so... In this build, I will be getting the... Uh... Alright, so Ash is coming top. But uh, anyways, as I was saying, in this build, I will be going to get, uh, get the... Uh, uh, greater Warding Totem, just because... Uh, every place that I'm reading, it's going to be better for that. Okay, so Swain is going bot, and Renekton is going bot. Okay. I haven't actually seen that before. That's really weird. Up. Oh. Ah, uh, Ziggs. Ah, oh, dang. I got Ziggs and Ash coming against me. Um. Bo 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 oh, I hate that sometimes. It just happens because I'm recording. Alright, so let, let's hope this actually goes pretty well. Uh, no, that's just my minions. So, as I said, Zerath was going mid. Um, uh, I'm not act. Ah, uh, dang, 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 dang. Alright, so I gotta switch these because I always go for my one. Um, this is gonna be a very one sided battle if I don't end up getting the uh, fiddlesticks back. Because I'm not gonna be able to fight much against them. A 
true master is an eternal student. Okay, shut up, you sage. Sweet, I got my level up. Um, I'm actually gonna grab my W first. Cause that could put me back. See, with that W, I can stay lane longer. Yeah, they're they got me. Or not, sweet. Ziggs is going for it though. Okay, I gotta go back. Um, they have a like high likelihood. I don't think they're gonna take the tower this early, but they have a high likelihood of getting it if I don't get that zig if I don't get that guy back before I really start hitting hard. Um, late game, everywhere, every time I've played against a Yi, late game, Yi is literally literally ends up killing everything. But early game. He is kind of squishy. That's that's one thing you got to be uh, watch out for. Um, so again, I'm hoping that this ends up not being such a one-sided fight. It's a good thing that he didn't request jungle. Ah, uh, dang it! I meditated at the wrong time. All right, so now I get my attack speed. Um, I'm gonna go actually. Mm, they don't have a jungler. Since they don't have a jungler, I don't have to worry about ganks. Yeah, I know I was gonna get killed there. See, there's not much that I'm being able to do without having that freaking guy here. Um, grab one of those. Freaking fiddlesticks. And even when he gets here then I'm so f I'm gonna be so far behind that it's not you know, even worth it. My tower's gonna be the first one taken, yeah. And I kind of haven't had much of a time to be able to explain any of this to y'all, and I'm sorry about that. Um, it's just been kind of hectic trying to play this lane by myself right now against both of these two. Um, so pretty much his uh, W is going to be a heal for me. Um, it heals a 1% for every percent that uh, of damage that I have taken. So I'm going to go focus Ziggs. Uh, they're gonna get to me before I can recall. Alright, so I gotta recall at this point. Um, without freaking Phil six here, there's not a whole heck of a lot that. Uh, I hate this. At least grab that. I don't know if this is gonna help much because uh, I don't. I don't know about Ziggs at all. I don't know. Um, anyways, let me finish telling you about this. This is gonna, um, I attack, and as you've seen, it makes me, uh, untargetable for, uh, I think it's like, four seconds or something, or, untargetable while I strike four enemies. Um, and then this is gonna heal me, uh, and I reduce incoming damage, and then the, my E gives me a passive, uh, haste buff, a passive attack speed buff, 
and um, when I click on it, it, whenever I use it, it gives me a, uh, uh, a buff on a short buff that takes away the passive until my E is back up. But I think, yeah, we just, it's a really pretty short cooldown. Alright, so they're they're kind of out leveling me a little bit right now, um, because they're being able to uh farm up a whole lot. Yeah, they got me here. Oh my gosh, he's gonna take me out with his ult. Uh, I ran straight into his ult. That, oh my gosh, that was absolutely stupidity for me. Alright, so I, I just need to 475 to grab that. Um... Skilling, skilling, skilling. Um, the build that I saw online for top lane, really, it did say, uh, it didn't say to use ignite or flash. No, yeah, ignite or flash. I think it said to use ghost and uh, exhaust. But personally, just for the extra damage, I'd rather the other. All right, I'm coming back around. Gosh, he already has his ult, and his ult's retarded. Like, it's in a huge space that he can target, and he can target anything in that area and automatically be able to uh, attack any of it. I know I shouldn't be just sitting here, but... close to killing Ziggs. Oh well. Um, li like I said, I'm freaking... I c there's not much I can do in this game. Um, it's just not going to help me much. I don't know anything about Ziggs really, which is not helping me whatsoever. Really it's not, and I haven't played Ash since two years ago, so that's not helping me either. Um, so going to go ahead and explain his ult while I'm running here. Um, he gives a ba whenever I kill or give, give a kill or assist, it reduces remaining cooldown of all my abilities by seventy percent. <laughs> um, see, the thing that's nice about this is it has the ability. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. All right, so a kill or assist on a champion gives me. Gosh. I wonder what his cooldown on that is. And I got huge lag, so I'm going to get out of there. Um, and then increases movement speed by 25% uh, attack speed by 30% and grants immunity uh, to movement uh, impairing effect in, to CC for 10 seconds while active. And then anytime a champion or a, uh, a, I get a champion kill or assist, then it extends my Highlander effect. Okay, there we go. I'm back to normal. See, I'm hoping that... He's not going to come back in far enough for me. So pretty much at this point, I'm having to wait continuously on them, because both of them are sevens from kills on me. I'm having to go back here because I'm 
lagging. I'm not. Well, what? Wait, no, I can't even leave my tower. Oh my gosh. Alright, so. Oh, good job, but. Ah, oh, whatever. Not much I was able to do about that one. They're going to take my tower, too. Or they should, at least. Um, I guess enemy minions are finally enemy minions. Got the tower. Alright, so they got the tower, unfortunately. There was not much I was doing in that situation. Um, really, Renekton, from everything I've been told, is a top champion. And Fiddlesticks was not a, is not a top champion. Fiddlesticks would be bottom normally with Ezreal, and Renekton would have been top with me. I don't know why, but this is just absolutely asinine. Some of this craziness going on right here. Because I'm a lower level than the entire team by quite a bit. Awesome. Anyway, so he has like this special Wuju art stuff that he can do. Oh, I'm dead. Alright, so. Which turret? Ah, oh, the bot turret. Uh, I'm having to wait because of the stupid lag. Come on. Come on. I'm gonna just have to deal with the lag. Gosh, this is literally one of the worst games I've ever played. There we go. It's only a 75 second cooldown, it's actually a pretty short cooldown, or something like that. Alright, so, I'm gaining on him at this point, um, now, so I'm hoping that, uh, things, uh, what the, hoping that things end up going a little bit better for me now. Now that I've had that little bit of help up here, it's getting a little bit easier to deal with top. Uh, I don't have any more. Okay. I do have to be careful. I mean, his abilities really don't take a whole bunch, but just being careful can save me a lot. I 
it in the bush and see this is freaking what's keeping me alive up here gotta watch out for is Ash blowing me with her little slow dude to bun hammer. Uh come on. Okay, I do have to pop that right now real quick. Alright, that requires 90 mana, so it's gonna really suck for me, but hey, I'd rather health over mana. Right now, at least. See, so what I'm trying to do really is trying to poke at him pretty bad. But it, uh, it's not doing a whole heck of a lot. Alright, grab these. And then, I guess grab this. It's gonna give me a little bit more gold. Um, I still need the BF sword, which I'm gonna grab as soon as I get, as soon as I can. So, I'm probably gonna end up having to start start going to get grab the little blue and red buffs unfortunately but the problem is I don't know if I'm gonna have time considering they put she's tower so hard uh, I don't know what they're what she's trying to do I don't even care because as long as I get As long as I get XP for kills, I'm totally happy. Uh, I'm gonna grab that one more time to go ahead and. I'm gonna have to use this. At this point, if I were him, I would probably end up leaving. Because it's literally almost useless to come in at this point. Yeah, it's pretty much useless at this point to even come in the game. Ooh, Xerath is trying to get me. I don't want you. Get away from me. I gotta get over here and help him. Shut down. Okay, never mind, I don't have to help him. <laughs> Alright, so I'm not getting blue buff. I'm gonna kill them though. the game. <sighs> Alright, uh, I'm pretty much just trying to stay near towers at this point, because if I don't, I'm pretty much sure to be dead. Um, pretty much why I put these here is these two make up this, and uh, this and the BF sword make up the bloodthirster. I'd like the bloodthirster first, just to have it and then grab uh, the young news blade, you news blade, whatever. Oh my gosh, this is literally a fight I don't think I can win. And <clears throat> I guess Phil Six is gonna try and jungle it. Oh 
almost got freaking. If I would have got it, I would have had an extra, bo uh, extra boost to get around the edge. Oh my gosh. At least they're not taking tower this time. Because there's another wave of minions coming out. Um, yeah, they shouldn't be taking tower yet. Uh, hey, I gained a level. Uh, attack speed up. See, the thing is, is. Attack damage. Active damage ratio cooldown. Mm. Kind of like to go ahead and grab that. Um, I'm just hoping that Fiddlesticks can at least do something and not die cons consistently. He died once, but I think he actually died from a um, jungle minion. Oh my gosh, really? You're pushing that? Go, go. Okay, well they took her out, so well. Uh, we should be able to get this tower now. Why are you going back? Well, thanks guys. Thank, thanks for, I mean, thanks for getting the tower for me. But I really wish you would not have gone back. I'm not going in for a kill right now. Oh, what? Okay, the most unexpected thing I've ever seen. Alright, alright guys, so apparently, when I actually thought we were losing horribly, we were actually losing, we were actually winning pretty well. We had over double their kills, it, it was pretty good, a nice, a pretty nice win there. Um, even for freaking Phil Six, who did nothing, absolutely nothing. Um, it was not his fault, he blew screened, oh well. But wow, that was just freaking wow. I really thought I was going to lose that one. I didn't get one kill. I got five deaths and one assist. Anyways, that Ezreal was a beast. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to tell you all some of the lore. Well, actually, I don't even care about the lore for this one right now. That was that, that, that just made no sense whatsoever. I tried what, that I, I tried what I could. I didn't do as well as I've done on a lot of the other ones, but hey, I was 2v1ing an Ash and a Ziggs. No, 2v1. 1v2, an Ash and a Ziggs, so I think considering, all considering, I did pretty good for that. Thanks, and y'all uh, keep watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment below.